fun assignment for today. Grab your oldest chess book you have on the shelf. 50 year old one. 1946 classic. And uh, well, first you decide do you keep it or do you throw it out? And if you, if you decide not to throw it out, then take a look, open it up and see what do you got in there? What's worth looking at? And uh, this book has 50, 50 classic games. Um, Principles of Chess. Original author James Mason. Uh, that was 1894. And then like almost 46 plus. Yeah, yeah, let's just say rounded up 50 years right later. I mean, the book was still around. It was such a classic. Yeah. And um, yeah, so Fred Reinfeld just goes, uh, all we need to do is just put today's games in there, right? Because uh, the original games were 1860 to 1890. So that whole romantic age. So you would have had some fantastic games, hmm. of course, you know, King's Gambit, Immortal Games, you name it. Um, yeah, all those gambits. But the thing was that by the time, uh, you know, 1946 came along, like there was a whole period of the hypermodern chess and all this finichetto stuff, right? So it wasn't represented in the book. And of course, you know, you want to know how to do that stuff, right? So he has got that. But he also has a King's Gambit in here, by the way. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it's still a good book. Um, but uh, what I'm looking at here, the game I picked out is the French Defense because I know how many people just love to hate on the French, and this one was just so ironic, right? Uh, so the uh, the issue with the French has always been that you 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 got this bad bishop, right, that you can't develop, and uh, that's because it's blocked in by his own pawn, and if this moves, you know, it's permanently buried in there, right? It's uh, in a tomb, um, so. Uh, that was one feature of this game that I'm going to look at. Uh, played in 1937, Moscow Championship. Okay, um, probably you never heard of the guys. Uh, so anyway, if you did, that's because you know something about chess. Um, with the white pieces was Andre Lilienthal, and uh, he was uh, Hungarian, and then uh, Igor Bondarevsky with the. Uh, with the black pieces and I've got him on the bottom because well yeah, you know why um, yeah uh, plays a great game yeah 1937 guys and he plays 97 percent move accuracy and um, the question though is does this game have any relevance to how we play today uh, you know 1937 uh, Yeah, they finished last, by the way. I, sh I should add that in this, uh, in this tournament. Yeah, they didn't have any luck. Uh, they finished tied for last with each other. Uh, however, in the same year, um, Andre uh, brought home the silver medal for his country, you know, in the Chess Olympiad. So it was later that year. And, uh, you know, these are young guys, eh? I think 24 and 26 years old. And for Igor, this is his first international tournament. Um, okay, so, you know, let's put it this way. I tied with that guy, Lilienthal, you know, who everybody knew was probably the top player in Hungary at the time. Uh, there was one other player that was, you know, also uh, probably... Equal stature, uh, Jabot, I think his name was. Now, uh, we're just going to get going here because uh, what we get is the uh, classical. Okay, so that's still played today. And uh, he, uh, yeah, so Black doesn't play, you know, Bishop E7. He goes for the McCutcheon line. Yeah, it's a good fighting chess line. Um, and he's threatening to win a pawn already, I can see, because he's been the the night so uh, yeah so either you move move it or lose it eh? I guess yeah so either that or you capture okay that doesn't have uh, that, that doesn't pose any problems for black there so uh, 
course the knight's pinned so you can capture with the queen and uh, and and now you you know now you got to do something about your bishop so in this line um yeah black would end up with double pawns here okay and uh he uh, he's fine no no worries there uh, but instead we get that all right so okay so it's uh so the knight can't move and we wouldn't want to move it anyway because <laughs> yeah it's pinned right uh so you know that is a move but otherwise you better uh you better attack the bishop all right so if you want to keep your bishop you retreat and i think that's what happens in the game but if uh if you decide you can you know you can exchange and it looks a little ugly looks a little ugly but again no danger no danger for black and um it just might not be your cup of tea uh but you know he wants to keep the bishop pair try to retain them right for as long as possible and uh okay and now we got to deal with that Oh, and this, uh, this, this is no good. Look at that. You cannot do that. All right, takes. Yep. Okay, we got that one right. And now what do you do? If you take here, you know, you lose this guy. And if you take there, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, anyway, we know they don't make that kind of a mistake. Uh, okay, so he, uh, he trades off his, that's his good bishop, eh? You know, that's the one that actually had a diagonal <laughs> that, he, <laughs> that had some scope and he just voluntarily gave that away um, yeah he wasn't even provoked but I guess he uh, see well you know that you can't do that and maybe this uh, this wasn't to his liking it's not a good move apparently all right and uh, this is the other alternative I guess right so anyway let's uh let's accept the fact we gotta exchange off we'll we'll take those double pawns eh? that, that's okay that's our compensation but uh the other i guess the other thing you know white could do that and uh, apparently that's not uh, so good oh wait a minute the engine just changed its mind <laughs> you know we got the engine on there because we're gonna have a have a look at the uh, annotations every now and then in this game uh, and see you know in real time how uh, how it compares you know to yeah what the engine thinks now uh you know so this move is coming here and uh, go back well it's uh it's still within reach of the knight go forward try that okay now you're facing this okay that doesn't look good and uh yeah we already we already know you're you're within the range of that knight there so now what you take eh? okay take take and uh this is how this is how that would go yeah so yeah put the pressure on that one but now we get our pawn back this way and uh, again no real nothing to fear there for for black that's uh one more idea, by the way. One more idea. Let's take a look at one more. This, uh, after this, like there's, uh, okay, this this is pretty sly. So if you, yeah, if you're not, probably never see this because nobody ever does it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it kind of looks like you've kept everything. You kept your two bishops, right? And you kept your pawn <laughs> for now. Mm -hmm. And look at this, you know, it's uh, like, wow, okay. Bam, we get the uh, bishop back, and you can't castle. And uh, well, this is this is way better for black. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. So, uh, yeah, takes. Okay, so this is our compensation right here. Double pawns, all good, right? We're all good, uh, except for one problem. We gotta save the knight. <laughs> get him out of there okay so now uh pressure on the bishop which is kind of uh 
this is ironic like you know again you can still save those save your bishop pair for you know uh, a rainy day so to speak but uh, that's uh, hanging and apparently you look at this the engine doesn't care so you want a, a useless pawn yeah. yeah this may not be a good move <laughs> we won't go down that road either because they didn't so here we go I mentioned the coffee house there's a coffee house move if there ever was one right bring out the queen early Is that something we should be worried about? The engine actually suggests this. And uh, uh, now I'm with the haters. <laughs> you know, I can tolerate this bad bishop over here, but now I'm ha having to tolerate a bad rook. Okay, I, 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 that's a bridge too far for me. And not to mention now I can't castle. And... Uh, uh, this is just going to be too much work, I think, to uh, safely develop after that, even though that's supposed to be the safest move. Don't go too far back. Uh, we still got to make a move here. Okay, so G6 it is. And we no longer have a dark bishop, and now we have a uh, weakness on the dark square. We um, Now we have a backward pawn. Okay, so what's worse? A bad rook or this backward F pawn? I guess we're gonna find out. This is what <clears throat> this is what Black has uh, decided to play, right? I'm gonna stick with my bad bishop, and I know I have this backward pawn. I'll do my best. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> H4. Now's the time. Uh, yeah, seemingly the beginning of an attack but it turns out to be no more than a gesture. Oh yeah. All right, uh, I'm kind of relieved now because uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what H4 really is supposed to do. It just seems a little too early to try something like that. Okay, hmm, exclamation. If you see a annotation, that's, uh, I'm taking that from the book. Okay, that's not, that's not our stockfish. Okay, just so you know, throughout this game so far. Anyway, uh, we are going with the uh, with the uh, an analysis. Okay, provided by Fred Reinfeld, and that looks like a good move. All right. Yeah, so uh, that would win a pawn if my calculation is correct. Gotta be doing something about this. And that's what we do. Oh no. Yeah. So we had maybe the best piece on the board. Yeah, that didn't last long. Now we're way behind we way, way behind in development. There's two pretty uh, fine looking pieces. We don't have any pieces developed right now. So all our compensation is tied up in those right there, right? The doubled pawns and the king looking all no longer castle, but he looks pretty safe. Igor, get with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's the uh, strategy. It's pretty simple if you play, you know, the black pieces for uh, for a game like this one. You know exactly what you have to do. The D pawn and the E pawn, they got to go. Because you can't win. This is like you have no game if you don't get rid of those guys. All right. You have no space to work with. And, um, well, you're going to get crushed. That one is, uh, that's a new one for me. We're up to H3. So it was 1937, I said. And here, there's just one comment. Black needs to be on guard, okay? Because you uh, you got to be wary of this. Bishop sacrifice here. Bishop takes g6. It's it's in the air. 
It just says, you know, you need to be wary of it. But it gives no details. And that sacrifice doesn't happen in this game. And now I feel like for the rest of the game, we're going to be wondering what's, uh, what's, what's the uh, big idea there. So I searched the database to see, uh, well, does anybody play this exact position? All right, just click search. And uh, even up to 2018 in the chess.com database, you can find this exact position. So, hey, game is still relevant. And what did I do, though? I went to the oldest game I could find, this one. And this one was like 1921. And look at who has the legend himself, eh? Dutch. Max Oiva, okay? And um, he uh, was a... You must have known, right? You must have known this. That he was a uh, former world champion. And... Um, yeah, so he played the rook h3, and it gets an inaccuracy. So I'm supposed to believe that Max didn't know how to play an opening, eh? Yeah. All right, well, here's how good he was at the openings. He's going to rattle off not one, not two, but three brilliant moves in rapid succession, like literally one after the other, and then uh, follow them up with... Oh, so there's way, so, way too many. Every move is great. <laughs> oh, my God. We should be looking at this game instead. But we're not. All right. So, uh, by the way, <clears throat> who's playing with the black pieces? Who's the guy who's going to get waxed? <laughs> this, uh, they should, they've got him under the Ukraine flag. I know he was a, uh, I guess, a Soviet player at one point later on. So maybe he was born in the Ukraine. So that's the uh, reason for the UKR. Um, and I also think he had some kind of, I thought he was a German, German Ukrainian maybe. Efim Bogol Yubov. There you go. That's as good as I can do with that name. Bogol Yubov or Bogol Yubov. Not really sure. Somewhere around there. And... Uh, Hey, a legendary player, by the way. He played in some world championships. While Max actually won one. At least one, didn't he? One. Played in more than one. One. Against, well, if you're going to win one, you you know, you want to beat Alexander Alekin, right? That's the, that's the guy. Here's what's happening. That's what's happening. So this is what Black is going to play in... Uh, in this game, and this is what activates the uh, the bishop, because well, we must agitate that bishop, I guess, because we paralyzed this pawn, right? It's pinned, and then now we threaten that. I mean, I guess we also have that as a threat. I'm not going to analyze this one overly, you know, in too much depth. But uh, here we go, you know, brilliant move, <laughs> capturing. While sacrificing the bishop was the right idea. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Like, is it, is it really so desperate? Like, here's, here's a move. Doesn't that protect the pawn? It doesn't. You can take it. And if he takes back, right, you still get this one. And now, things don't look so good. Things don't look so good. Both the pawns are gone. Okay, that, that, that's not what we want. No, and uh, so yeah, so that doesn't work. Um, same thing with this, so it doesn't really matter. And um, yeah, so now we're, we're threatening to, to win. And uh, so he does that, a eh? brilliant move. <laughs> and now, unfortunately, Bogo uh, stubs a toe. And he plays the second best move. He played the second best move, okay, and it's uh, okay. It's, it's it's not a disaster, you know. But you know, you see the engines calculating and starting to realize that uh, oops, oops, that's an oopsie, okay. So inaccuracy, and you know, you should have stuck with your plan. So I think this is the move, okay. Engine seems to be agreeing. All right, everything's kosher, right. And then, if he takes here, that's good for black. 
You can take. You can take because look at that. My night is covering. My night is covering. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Oh, but he can't capture that way. And he can't capture that way. Okay, so I see that this was uh, pretty contentious stuff. But we're not done. <laughs> You've you you played an inaccuracy and then pow you now you gotta pay and pay the piper and uh, do i have to say his name bugal yubov bugal yubov there you go bugal yubov actually finds the right move here that's the best move could have been a disaster right but still third inaccuracy in a i'm sorry third inaccuracy third brilliancy in a row <laughs> Maybe third inaccuracy. Nope, he 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 gets this one right. He gets that right. Yeah. Yeah, so this would be bad. That's right. Yeah. You slide it on over. Okay. And now you gotta get yourself out of that pin. Alright, over here. King King B1. And uh yeah, so yeah, so what happened then? Well we don't want to know, do we? There. Okay. Okay. He look at that. So this was this was the uh, the best move. But uh and by the way it was a great move, eh? Look at that. Wait a minute, no, King to D eight was the great move. That's the best move. Okay. But anyway, so we uh we actually have a good game. We actually have a good game. So there, uh, even that little inaccuracy didn't cost him. And all those brilliancies didn't hurt him. Didn't hurt, didn't, didn't hurt him one bit. However, it's a bit of a scare. And uh, our guy, all right, you know, Igor, he's on the ball. Does not fall for it. Of course, this game, 1937, it's, uh, yeah, six, 16 years later. Hey? I said the other one was 1921. I think that's what it was. Uh, anyway, both these guys are all booked up. Don't fall for that booby trap there. And uh, off we go. I really like black now. Isn't that weaker? D4 pawn looks a lot weaker now. And uh, doesn't this look uh, more vulnerable? I don't think the king is as safe as it was. And uh, yeah, the engine does actually. So there you go. You got some credit for keeping your wits about you. And playing a great move once again. Thanks, Fred. You keep handing those out. And uh, yeah, look, this is necessary now. All right, so we have two defenders, we have two attackers, and that's it. That's where we're going to wage the hot war. Yeah, oh man, and he can't push that pawn. No can do. No can do. We, uh, yeah, we're at danger levels here. All right, we're at danger levels. This guy got the uh, open file that actually should be, yeah, that, that should be occupied by uh, that rook. I'm sure of it. What's up? Carry on. Okay, develop your last piece. It's a bad one, <laughs> I know. It was the worst bishop you have ever seen in your life, eh? And uh, we're going to castle, and we're going to win the game. We are... Uh, yeah, well, he, we, we, we have to think now. <laughs> can, we, can we still castle and hang that pawn? Because I think that's what Andre wants to point out. So he wants to make it look like his queen is active. It's doing two, two roles, eh? Defend and attack. And uh, we castle anyway. All right. Called your bluff. And go ahead, take it. Do you, are you going to take it? No, he does not take it. He plays G4. Why didn't you take it? Hey, uh, Fred, uh, you got any answers for that one? He does not. Should we even look at it? Well, we'll just take a very brief glimpse. It, uh, as you suspect, is not a not a wise choice. You know, giving up that, and it's actually more than that, isn't it? Like, let's just grab one of these uh, one of these rooks, hit the queen. And let him have another pawn. Okay. Uh, it, how bad is it for us now if we do this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
And uh, so he's going to come over here and save that pawn, is he? No, he's not. But do we take it? Playable, playable. All right, got a check. So we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're all even up here. And um, yeah, black is better, right? Eh? Black is better. Just, just doing that. Just doing those exchanges, all even exchanges, hey. Eh? So it looked like we were going to lose two pawns. We did not. We uh, we gathered it back. I won't go any any further in the rabbit hole because that doesn't get played. He doesn't fall for that. He goes uh, g4, and the uh, so it, had he done it, and we were pretty much I think following the best moves by the engine. It was like a yeah, there you go. He found another move. He found another move that is just as bad as taking the pawn. And um, again, you know, Fred doesn't have anything to say. So we'll let him uh, rest for a little while. You know, we'll, we'll wake you up, Fred, in a bit. Because um, we're going to need you, buddy. We're going to need you. But uh, so the engine didn't like that. Let me, you know, since Fred didn't have anything to say, remember the H4? was seemingly the beginning of an attack. Uh, G4. G4, right here, on the board. Seemingly the continuation of the attack that never came to fruition. Right. Does not look like it's a problem at all. Looks like he's, uh, he's, off, uh, he's off his game here. That... Uh, that's not the move. This is the move. <laughs> Retreat. It's not. It's not that bad. You know, it's not that bad at all. You know, you, you've you're on move sixteen, and you've uh, you've now got equality. <laughs> White was fighting for equality. I guess one of these guys is coming here. We're gonna scare away that queen. Well, yeah, I didn't play that. So uh, okay. So now. Uh, there's a really good move. There's a there's a move like the engine is uh, tipping us off here. Hey, eh? that there's a yeah, there's a good move. Uh, the black could play, but he doesn't see it, or he decides to hold it for another move. But the the nature of this position being locked here in the center, like so. Um, it's pretty interesting. He doesn't play it right now, nor does he play it on the next turn. So it's like two turns later that he plays that move. So it's actually the best move for the next three moves. But uh, yeah, he does this instead, which you know the engine doesn't like. You know, it, uh, you lost something there, <laughs> but I like it. You know. It's a uh, multiple choice, guys. Yeah, forget about uh, blocking with the pawn. You know, we know what that does. So uh, you got one in four chance of getting this right, and I think that's what he was banking on, that you might not get it right. All right, and um, sure enough, he doesn't. It's a question mark. Now, that's a question mark yeah, by Fred. Um, and uh, the... Uh, I think the right move, you know, can be explained fairly easily. Uh, we add a, a third defender to the pawn because we've got two attacking. So a third, that's called overprotecting, right? But um, I think this move right here actually had something to do with this. And I think this is what caught Igor's eye. Is, is he's got a tactical eye. He goes, hey, isn't that queen hanging? You know, it's undefended. Yeah, so is that thing. So is that thing. Everything is undefended here, guys. <laughs> yep, but tell me about that bad bishop. You know, I don't need to hear about the bad rook. Another bad rook over there. You know, queen is a little too passive for my liking. Um, things would be different if the rook was there, but it's not. So, anyway, uh, this would save him some trouble later later in the game 
in, in the event that something happens there, something bad, if something bad happens there, and uh, what's going to happen now? Hey, something bad is happening there. <laughs> it gets a brilliancy. Yeah, we can, uh, okay, Fred uh, come to life with that brilliancy. So Fred awarded the uh, brilliancy. I shouldn't say that because I doubt very much that in 1946, when he put it in this book, that he was the guy, you know, who did all this analysis. I mean, the game had been played in 1937. It actually ended up in several books, by the way, for sure. Modern chess openings and uh, uh, practical chess openings, it was in there. And, um, and then it ended up here, so... A lot of people would have had a look at it, but this is a magnificent surprise move, according to Fred, and you can't take it because you lose a piece. You can't take it. Okay, we, uh, we're, we're threatening that. Can you uh, prevent that? You can't. <laughs> Oops. You hung your queen. You hung your queen. So you're going to get, f you're going to get a pawn fork. And, um, yeah, this won't save you because, again, you know, look, you hung your queen, right? He can't take. This doesn't work. I'm going to say that, you know, that's like my, if I'm playing bullet, that's what I'm playing there. Um, the engine says otherwise. Sure. Okay. All right. And if that... What do we do? We take. By the way, what do we do? Now. Now's a good time. You're, you're kidding me. <laughs> All right, guys. So, actually, that just makes things worse, right? That just makes things worse. Um, if you think... Uh, you know, taking here is going to help. No, you're uh, going to lose a piece. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, queen can go here. That's that's fine. You know, there goes your, your piece. Um, yeah, so what is he, what has he got up his sleeve? Well, he's obviously not taking. Now, um, this apparently is amusing, Fred says. And uh, let's take a look at what Fred had. So I saved that one. And um, there we go. So all wholesale exchanges here. And uh, look at this queen just hitting everything, right? Especially that. That's, uh, oh man. Yeah, how is this going to turn out? So actually we can take that and we've cleaned up the center. Um, we got our eye over here. And uh, Fred goes, uh, don't put him out, you know, let's put him out of his misery. You know, don't, don't let him off the hook yet. Okay, it's uh, it's it's too good, too good of a move to pass up. Uh, I guess that or that, you know that. Uh, by the way, yeah, going there keeps an eye on that that pawn. Um, but you know, and that's what Fred suggested. And then here you go. There's your bad bishop. <laughs> he comes to life. And uh, well, I guess it's that and this. It's a long combination, eh? And finally, we can say. That the game is over yeah if he does that okay well that looks really bad so he didn't do that because he, he's too smart right and um all right so we know we can't take either way we've covered that and uh what does he do he goes all right i, I don't have any ideas right now so i think i'll just do that and uh get you off my back because this is this is uh yeah this is making me nervous here so by the way, we could have just slid over here. <laughs> He'd still be nervous, right? Well, maybe not. Oh, okay. Uh, so what are we doing here? This one or this one? Whatever keeps us, you know, got to keep keep the pressure on that, that pawn. We're not letting that away, right? We're not going to let that off the hook. So, okay, so he chooses that one. Uh, there's a drawback, though. Uh, open file. Okay, the uh, returns to the rightful owner. Yeah, this this is hanging and uh, nobody cares because, um, you know, well, that was hanging. And by the way, we didn't even look at that. 
Uh, why don't we just go back just a second here? Did we miss something? And did everybody miss that? Evidently not. That doesn't even save them. Yeah. Then you take here. And you can't take. And we're right back to this again. And uh, what about that? Does not work. Doesn't work. But don't do this. Don't do this. All right. So, uh, yeah, and, and, and don't do that. Now, probably you could play that. And I say probably, like I know what I'm talking about, but uh, the uh, I think the big issue is going to be here. I think the big issue is going to be here. So maybe you move this one. Yeah, what? We don't care about those pawns, do we? And, uh, yeah, so then obviously that's happening. And uh, you... You could, uh, you could take there, or you could even call the check and take back that way, right? Anyway, so looks like uh, that, you know, that one was completely missed. And nobody, nobody called it out. I spotted that. Even the engine didn't. Did, that, did the engine actually spot that? Yeah, the engine doesn't have that as a uh, possible move. Therefore, <laughs> why did we even waste our time, right? <laughs> well, because it was there. Now. We have a chance to play the uh, the move that we should have played instead of the F. Yes, we played F. We played F6. Right, we played F6. So that was one turn. Then we play that. Right, we had to save the queen, obviously. So now, what's the move? What's you know, the suspense is killing me. What was the move? Okay, that was uh, actually better than the brilliancy. It looks like the brilliancy was sort of busted, but it's actually, uh, it was the second best move. So, no sweat. No sweat. It's caused no end of trouble to white anyway, right? Uh, this next move is really going to cause trouble. So that was it. G5 is in your face. It is completely in your face. Have we taken this way? You know, it's actually not even a good move. It's not really, it's like the second best move. And you recapture either pawn. Uh, if you go this way. Yeah. And the queen has to move. This is the whole point, right? This is the whole point. You know, you got to deflect one of those guys. Let's start with the queen. And that they can go there. Right? No, they can't. You're hanging. <laughs> no, you can't. Well, what if I take? Right? So what if I take? Yeah, what if you do? Okay, so that would be the move, wouldn't it? Please tell me. And uh, so, yes, you do get... Okay, so you get two rooks. There's a queen gone. And uh, what else is dropping? Right? What else is falling? Oh, uh, well. Uh, yeah, he's finally going to take there, by the way. And you take here. So then take and take. And it does not look like this is going to amount to a major threat. Because we'll get there just in the nick of time. Oh boy, we got some meat on the bone here. Um, yeah, so what do we do? So if you go back to protect the rook, then you've dropped this pawn. And uh, by the way, I think the uh, engine still says that's your best bet. Yeah, that's your best bet. And uh, and now we have all the time in the world to sit and figure out what do we want to do. Like, so we can do that, you know. And then uh, would you really take with the queen? Okay, now we got eyes for this. And uh, so we'll take here. You know, we'll take that d4 pawn, finally. Um, this is starting to look a little bit dangerous, but I think two rooks is, uh, you know, ample resources. Um, but by the way, we're really pretty much back to the even again. So, guys. So, if he does do that. Yep. 
Let's get that one out of the way. Take and take. Okay, queen takes. All right, everything good. Okay, then we take here. And then there's a strange move. Yeah, there was a strange suggestion there. And then now we take there. Man. Man. You know, sir, we're still missing something. We are still missing something. Yeah, maybe we're not missing anything. It's, it's, it's only point 0.3. It's only point 0.4. All right. It's showing a great move. All right. And it turns out to be a actually, you know, more consequential move than we were expecting because, uh, well, unfortunately, White didn't play that. You know, he's still, he's still worried about this pawn. And by the way, if he's super worried, that's where he goes. That doesn't work. Oh, no. There you go. All right. Okay, and we're still coming at you anyway, right? There you go. Okay, now you're really losing it. Now you're losing it. So, you know, that is, uh, that's not a great idea to, you know, you got to give him up. And, um, yeah, so he goes there. All right. And it's actually not a bad move. Yeah, it's uh, worth worth a try, right? So you uh, you are going to lose this pawn, it seems. And uh, this is, you know, you've lost a defender. We got two attackers, only one defender. And, um, and this is not a good move because that doesn't work, right? <laughs> so even though it looks like you're offering a queen trade, in fact, you are not. Um, I guess that's not happening. This is what's happening. We get a check, you know, because that king wasn't there, right? Remember, king king to e3 was the move. That was the move that would have saved a bit of a headache there. All right, and um, yeah, no, that's kind of forced. And uh, well, whew, mission accomplished for Igor. He spent the entire game trying to win that pawn on d4. He's finally done it. Took some some heavy duty work on the queen's part. And who's going to get all the uh, the accolades at the end of the day, though? These two guys, all right. That uh, that backward pawn, all right, is um, he's going to have a say. And then uh, you know we we've got this bad bishop. It still hasn't done anything. It's about to happen, guys. You know things are not looking good. Not looking good at all for White right now. Uh, White doesn't find the. Uh, the engine's idea here. Doesn't that solve all your problems? Those two pawns, they can't be captured now. Not by the queen. And uh, what's really nice is taking is, mm, okay. Okay, that's, that's actually, maybe that's the best move. Because taking here is no good. That's no good. Okay, and I'm assuming then that taking there is also no good. And the reason is, man, it looks like you have to, you have to take here. Look at this, uh, look at this pawn phalanx now. All right, so that keeps your advantage. Oh, makes a makes a nice threat too, by the way. And um, and uh, and that would be answered with this. Yeah, yeah, we're really into engine territory now, so that would be answered with that. Okay. And by the way, what happens if I take? Not a great idea. Not a great idea. Uh, there's a check. Oh, man. Oh, really not a great idea, right? Is there, there's no other move. I mean, no, no smart move. <laughs> that's, oh, wow, that's a good blunder. Good blunder. Let's get out of that stuff. Let's get out of that stuff. Let's get back to the real world here. Uh, White's going to blunder right now. He's going to blunder the game. Okay, so the only blunder in the game, and um, yeah, Black is up a pawn right now. And it's a shame that he uh, he doesn't find... By the way, it's, I was going to say it's a shame he doesn't find this move. But... Um, you know what? In the real world, we don't play stuff like that, do we? Uh, like, 
can you imagine? All right, you're in that tournament, international tournament, highest level. All right, I'll see if he falls for this. Yeah, he's not taken, okay? And because, uh, you know, his queen is hanging. And, um, but is he falling for this? You know, the old puzzle rush trick. Yeah. Yeah, he might fall for that. Oh, White's winning. Same motif. Give me that bishop. No. Let's call a check. And, uh, yep. Thank you. I'll take that pawn. And, uh, okay, so dead even material. Uh, that's probably White grinds his way to a win there. So, um, and how cool how cool was that that's another one of those uh, slick engine moves okay so uh, either the best second best they're basically equal this and this neither played instead the most obvious move in the world doesn't I, I didn't give it a blunder it's a massive blunder right and uh, it, I didn't give it a blunder because Fred had nothing to say he had nothing to say it's not that he was flabbergasted about you know the uh, the blunder he didn't realize it how is it a blunder you know look most obvious thing in the world let's get the uh, let's get a pass pawn we'll give up that one right everything is logical we'll give up that one okay and now we get we get the best position our rooks have seen all all game right we got one one rook taken care of He's attacking a weak pawn over here. That's a pretty good obvious target. And uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, the queen. I mean, the queen could come here, but uh, you know, it's because it's protected, but th that's an exchange. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's not the move. And but definitely this, right? He's, he's definitely got that. Um, but anyway, unfortunately, you know, Black's got, one great move, one great move to win the game. It's a game winner, and you can see it's winning a piece, right? I guess we'll have to decide that it's the pinned one, right? So anyway, uh, he is winning that piece, and uh, here's the move, okay? And that's because, uh, yeah, that bad bishop, guys. Yeah, the horrible bishop. You know, saves the day. There's no stopping this. This does not stop it, technically. I mean, uh, look at that. Look at that. You made things worse. Okay. So, Fred mentions it in the book. Yeah. Um, this move doesn't work. All right. We're not going there now. What did, what did he come up with? That. Now you can't stop this. <laughs> How sick is this slow walk? But he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. Your bishop has moved, okay? And uh, you're free to do that. What are you gonna do with about, what are you gonna do about that? You gonna do this? <laughs> and you're not going back there. Look at the engine, eh? Yeah, just go back. Go back there no that's not happening we're not going to do a repetition do we have to <laughs> that's your best movie says um no we'll take that with check thank you very much all right and uh yeah so okay fine and i guess we're going to do that you know we're hitting the queen there you go hey this is starting to look dangerous boy doesn't that look dangerous? <laughs> we're still fine. We're we're not dead yet. We're not dead. And uh, you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Am I seeing this right? Yep. Force the queens off the board. Okay, that's that's what the engine came up with. So the game ended here with this. Oh man, there were some, there were some fun in that. Um, yeah, White resigned, and uh, can you believe it? 
only 23 moves black with a backward f pawn he never had to defend that pawn even once and um you could never capture it each time was it just made your life miserable <laughs> right at the end it's a poison pill um and then you know this guy doesn't even have to play like he made one move for the entire game and just the mere threat well we can resign <laughs> bishop doesn't even get to claim his glory at all bad bishop bad bishop all right guys that is the end of that game and um okay i think my, maybe i'll keep keep the book a little bit longer bye for now